Hey, welcome to another video from Sight Tech Inner Mountain on Earthworks training. In this video, I want to cover guidance combinations and 2D option. I'm going to use a grader today. Um, what I mean by the combinations is when you're running Earthworks, you have the ability to run single GPS left, right, UTS, but there's also some of those other ones that are not used very often, but they're what I call plug and play, such as uh, sonic tracers and lasers. So to get started here, if you go to the gear with the tablet on the top right here, the uh, system settings, and you go to machine setup, this is where traditionally when you come in for a dual masted grader, you have the positioning source. Right now it's in dual G and S. Like I said, we have G and S left, right, UTS left for total station, UTS right, or to put it in 2D because it has the cross slope sensor so it can be ran just in 2D and hold a cross slope. We'll do 2D here in a little bit, but leaving it on this right here, um, if you have a scenario where you've plugged in a sonic tracer or a laser, these options will start showing up here, this guidance combination. There's two different ways to actually find this information. The way the emulator works right now is it's detecting that there is a sonic tracer left or right. As you can see on the grader there on the right side. If you want to change it from in here, you can hit this black box. And you can see any different combinations that you have between 3D on both sides. This is showing left and right. You can go sonic left, 3D right, um, 3D on the left and sonic. You can see the scenarios here. You can change it here, or you can change it from the main screen. So let's not change it here. I'll show you if you hit apply and go back into the main working screen where you would change it. So up here at the top left, in between the design that's loaded and the horizontal offset option, is this little folder paper on the corner right here. If you touch and hold on this, it takes you into the same thing for guidance combinations. Now you're probably wondering, why would I want to run 3D on one side and Sonic on the other? There's a lot of times that our models don't have time to get rebuilt after curb and gutter has been poured, sidewalks has been poured. Um, let's take a scenario where the lip of gutter is kind of fluctuating a little bit up or down, maybe five hundredths to a tenth. It's not enough to actually want to change and resurface the entire design. So what you can do is run a sonic tracer on the right side or left side of the grader or whatever you're using at this point and to match the existing conditions and then still run the designed elevation on the left side. If you come up to the paper here that has the corner folded down on it and touch and hold to go in there, we're going to use 3D elevation on the left, which means it's still running the design, and we're going to run a sonic tracer on the right side. So I'm going to put it into this, and you can see this is what that option looks like. 3D design to a matching option on the right side. So we'll hit apply. Right tracer is out of range, and it needs to be benched. So it'll start prompting you, but you'll also notice on the right side right here that now there's more options. So my cut fill left knows what designed elevation is from the design. The cut fill right does not know what's going on. So if you hit this button and drop down, you can touch this one and bench if you've got it set at the correct elevation. Once again, you've got to set it as close to what you want to bench to. And in this image right here, I'm just benching to the 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 sidewalk here because I'm using the emulator. I can zero out there and then still change the elevations from there. If I had set the cutting edge up on the lip of the gutter and then benched, I can still put in a vertical offset. And that's the other thing is you're going to notice at the top up here, now we've got more options. We still have our horizontal offset. So if I go in and pick, let's say, the top back of curb right there, I'll pick that green one. Maybe we'll put in a 0.5 offset. So we'll hit apply. Now we've got a horizontal offset. Now up here at the top, you've got two different vertical offsets now. So if you touch and hold on this one, this one is the designed elevation offset. So in here, we could put in maybe the same number just to throw in a number. We'll put a minus. But what you can also do is for the sonic tracer, if you benched on that and you need to put in a 0.5 down from that also, you've got to touch and hold and go into that. And this is where it shows the right sonic offset. So we will put in a 0.50 also minus on that. 
So now everything is ready to go. It just says it's out of range because I've, with the way the sonic tracers work, is you got to be kind of close after you bench. So if I go ahead and um, lower the blade down, now I can turn on auto and auto on both sides. The left side is going to follow the design no matter what. The right side is going to fluctuate, and you may, as you grade, see a little bit of air or light underneath this side right here, because at this point, the sonic tracer is matching the existing concrete. So once we've got that, we can also, if you have a side shift option with a grader that you're running, you can turn on your auto side shift, and it will automatically run over until we match that. And then you can go ahead and start moving the grader along. And it will just match whatever is there. You can see as I steer to the side, the auto side shift will try to adjust to it. The slower you grade, the better. So this is the option for running Sonic Tracer on one side and 3D on the other. There's quite a few different uh, scenarios in here. Like I said, if you touch and hold and go back up into this one, you can just on the fly switch between 3D or cross slope. In this this video, I'm going to show you how to switch it to 2D just back in the gear with the tablet in the top right right here. We're going to go to Machine Setup, and we're going to go down to the 2D option at the bottom here. 2D also has the ability to run Sonic um, or sensor combinations. So there again, if you hit this black box and go in, you can run different options in here. This time, I'm just going to run simply cross low. So now that we have set the grader up in 2D, the positioning source, when you come to your main screen, it's pretty, pretty barren, if you will. There's not a lot going on because we're not running GPS corrections at this point. It is simply just running a cross slope off of the blade to maintain. So the top here doesn't have horizontal or vertical offsets. It's just going to want to hold a cross slope. So in here at the very bottom, you can also see that there's a cut fill or left. What you can do up here is you can set a cross slope that you desire. If you touch and hold on to in that, you can go in here and say, okay, I want to hold my blade on, let's say, a 4%. And you can see over here, it is a lot like the 3D world where it's asking, okay, minus or plus to give me 4% to my left or to my right. You pick what side. Now that it's done that, you can go ahead and turn on the auto on the right side to actually hold that, which means that you can run the blade up and down manually and actually have it just hold that cross slope for you. So this icon on the right side right here flops it from side to side. So right now we're at 4% down to the left as you look at the blade on the grader. 4% to the left, but let's say you make a pass down a road and that, or the shoulder of a road and then you want to flip around. All you have to do is just tap, tap that button to the right side right here, and it will flop your 4% to the opposite side. Then you can go ahead and turn your autos on. The other icon right here is a match grade, target set. What that means is if I were to raise the blade up on this one side or lower this side, let's have a scenario right here where I go and try to match an existing slope. I don't want to have to get out and uh, guess what it is or get my level out. If you want to just set the blade down on a, an existing grade on an existing side of a road or a shoulder or wherever you may be, you can go in and touch that one. And what it's going to do is it's going to set the target slope without you having to put it in, which happens to come out at a 3.0. The other way to do that same thing is to push and hold and go in there, and there's the target set right there. So if I raise the blade up on one side and then hit target set, it's going to pick what that slope is at that point. So this is the 2D world. That's just simply cross slope, but up here in the top left, you've got two different options here. This one with the, row, the arrow coming down on it, if you touch and hold and go in there, takes you back to the sensor combinations where you can stay simple cross slope. Or you can run a sonic tracer on one side to match that back of curb or back of walk or whatever the existing side of a road and actually put in just a cross slope at that point. So we'll go ahead and turn it on to that. So we got sonic tracer with a cross slope. It wants to bench the uh, sonic tracer on the one side. We'll go ahead and bench that to zero that out. 
now you can still at this point go in here and say, okay, I'm going to match on the right side, but I only want to hold a 2%. So at this point, you can go ahead and turn your autos on, and it will match the existing with the Sonic Tracer and hold the cross slope for you. Thank you for watching this video on 2D with Sonic Tracers from Sight Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos.